What up everybody, my name is Galson Anthony, the best who ever do it, and this is another episode of Get Out of Here. So, little disclaimer, if you're pregnant, you got heart palpitation, you're afraid of the deep end, get out of here, because I pretty much don't care about your feelings. This is not for the sensitive people, so if you are, move on right along. Now let's get ugly. Let's jump this off with cheating my I did, ch I did. Whoever knows how to pronounce her name, it's that woman that was running for Miss South Africa. As a matter of fact, she was a contestant at Top 11, who is half Nigerian, half Mozambican. Now, why is the internet going wild about her? Well, pretty much because she started waving the Nigerian flag all over her social media, and she's running for Miss South Africa. Now, the internet went wild, and South Africa went into xenophobic mode and started questioning her and say, hey, why'd you go run this in your own country, where you're from? And then everybody started doing investigations, and even the government got involved to only find out that, yes, she is born South African, but the mother is not actually South African. She's Mozambican, and she did some fraudulent papers. Now, playing devil's advocate here, that is not Chitty Must fault at all. She is South African. Whether her mom is illegal and her daddy's illegal, they did not have a conversation in the nutsack and say, hey, it is time to get active. Let's get born in South Africa. She had nothing to do with it. She's here innocently. Then Nigerians being Nigerians went wild and their family, they have this little video of their family out there talking smack about South Africans. Oh man, Nigerians. Come on, man. Get up out of here. And then a slap in the face of South Africans, they decided to have her join Miss Nigeria Universe. The organizers of Miss Universe Nigeria have invited South Africa-based Chidima Adejina to join this year's pageant. I have decided to participate in the Miss Universe Nigeria 2024 beauty pageant. And the factor that she got petitioned to leave Miss South Africa must have been a slap in the face for Miss South Africa owners. Ouch. Ouch. Now the investigation that is happening in the Department of Home Affairs is actually putting the mom in hot water and putting cheating mom in kind of like hot water but also shooting her up to worldwide stardom. And her followers done doubled on Instagram. That's cheating, ma. Now a lot of celebrities tweeted and counter tweeted about this topic and Tyler done said something about, yo, she's on South Africa's side. Sorry this had to happen to you, girl. This is bullying and I don't stand for that. And guess what? They put her in the arenas like, oh, Tyler, one Grammy later, you got something to say, come in here. And they started tearing her apart. If you don't know how to behave then, get out of ya. Somebody wanted who happens not to be a black woman and then Burna Boy decided to tweet about it and says, this is who you chose to mock South Africa? Get out of here. See, Burna Boy, you trying to take the whole race card with a xenophobic that South Africa has experienced? Nah, that's not a good look at all. You should not be promoting any kind of racism whatsoever. But let's speak about the girl that done won Miss South Africa. She fired though. She fired. But I hear, I can't use the word here. I heard, no, no, let me try and rephrase that. I'm told that she cannot hear. Yep, yeah, I heard she's deaf. So when Bonangdan gave her the award and said, you are the winner, she didn't even hear it. And there was a little mishap that was happening there because she couldn't hear it. And Bonang was facing the crowd as opposed to facing her. And she couldn't lip read. Come on, Bonang, you got the brief. Why don't you remember these things? But man, she is fired up. Congratulations to her. And girl, whatever the case is, stay away from all this mocking that you're hearing out. I keep saying hearing. I shouldn't be saying, I should be saying seeing or reading because Damn, you know what? I'm going to hell for dissing up. <laughs> we are leaving too many South Africans behind. And I am here to teach the included how to be inclusive towards the excluded. What if she and the first mute rapper in the world became a couple? What would that sound like? Did I use the word sound? <laughs> Get out of here for me. <laughs> now let's move all the way to Tanzania. Jason Deluro, Derulo, Deluro, Derulo, <laughs> met up with Diamond Platinums and asked him, hey, what time did you arrive? And he said, second in the morning. <laughs> when, when, when did you get in town? Uh, second, right? Second in the morning, yeah. Okay. Can I get second and two or, or like basically correlated with each other, but second and, <laughs> get out of here. Although I am roasting him, I'm not particularly mad that he cannot speak English that well. Now here's why. Swahili is the biggest language and most spoken language in Africa. For what it's worth, he doesn't really need to know the language English, and he's a superstar for that. So everybody, 
and this continent has to tilt his direction. So kind of think about it, now, although we're roasting him, we can't be that mad at him. It's okay for him to not know English, but his bank account does. So, hey, get out of here for those roasting him, you second in the morning, mother. Get out of here. Now, if there's any other content you want me to cover, please hit me up, hit me on the social medias, follow me, put some comments, whatever the case may be, because I want to continue giving this kind of content all the time. So from me,